Our reading for meditation is a portion of Martin Luther King Jr.'s final speech 49 years ago today. You know, several years ago, I was in New York City autographing the first book that I'd written. And while sitting there autographing books, a demented black woman came up. The only question I heard from her was, are you Martin Luther King? And I was looking down writing and I said, yes. And the next minute I felt something beating on my chest. Before I knew it, I had been stabbed by this demented woman. I was rushed to Harlem Hospital. It was a dark Saturday afternoon and that blade had gone through. And the x-rays revealed that the tip of the, bl of the blade was on the edge of my aorta, the main artery. And once that's punctured, you're drowned in your own blood. That's the end of you. It came out in the New York Times the next morning that if I had merely sneezed, I would have died. Well, about four days later, they allowed me, after the operation, after my chest had been opened and the blade had been taken out, to move around in the wheelchair in the hospital. And they allowed me to read some of the mail that came in. And from all over the states and the world, kind letters came in. I read a few, but one of them I will never forget. There was another letter that came from a little girl, a young girl who was a student at the White Plains High School. And I looked at that letter, and I'll never forget it. It simply said, Dear Dr. King, I am a ninth grade student at the White Plains High School. And she said, while it should not matter, I would like to mention that I'm a white girl. I read in the paper of your misfortune and of your suffering. And I read that if you had sneezed, you would have died. And I'm simply writing to say that I'm so happy that you didn't sneeze. And I want to say tonight, I want to say tonight that I am too happy that I didn't sneeze. Because if I had sneezed, I wouldn't have been around here in 1960, when students all over the South started sitting in at lunch counters. And I knew that as they were sitting in, they were really standing up for the best in the American dream. And in taking the whole nation back to those great wells of democracy, which were dug deeply by the Founding Fathers in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. If I had sneezed, I wouldn't have been around here in 1962 when Negroes in, in Albany, Georgia decided to straighten their backs up. And whenever men and women straighten their backs up, they're going somewhere. Because a man can't ride your back unless it's bent. If I had sneezed, if I had sneezed, I wouldn't have been here in 1963 when the black people of Birmingham, Alabama aroused the consciousness of this nation and brought into being the Civil Rights Bill. If I had sneezed, I wouldn't have been down in Selma, Alabama to see the great movement there. If I had sneezed, I wouldn't have been in Memphis to see a community rally around those brothers and sisters who are suffering. I'm so happy I didn't sneeze. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain and I've looked over and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want, to, I want you to know tonight that we, as a people, will get to the promised land. I invite you to settle into your seats, find a comfortable place, allow yourselves to breathe deeply. <clears throat> <clears throat> 